Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. This is Hunter coming at you today with the Surveyor Legend 19 BHLE. It's a pretty versatile camper. It's small, but it's jam-packed with sleeping and storage, all that good stuff. Uh, dry weight, just over uh, 4,100 pounds. And I definitely think it's gonna be a camper that you like. If you guys like RV videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment if there's something that I can do differently or some added information that you think will help. But I'm gonna start off inside, then I'll take you around the outside. And again, appreciate you guys for tuning in. So first off, uh, this is gonna be a shorter video today since this is a smaller camper, but you're gonna notice it's got a slide out which just really enhances the size and the feel of the interior, makes it a little bit of a larger camper, you know, even though it comes in kind of a small package. So right here, you're going to notice you got your booth dinette, uh, pretty classic. You take out those metal legs and you drop it down, makes for some good sleeping space. You got storage underneath on both sides there. So when you drop this bed down, there is going to be um, some places there so that way it can hold up the table and you can take a little snoozer there. You got your bed right here, TV over to your right. Uh, this thing, this is strapped up right now for, well, I guess what I would call it, you know, just travel mode. But it does, you can pull it out, puts it on a swivel and all that. You got all your connections up here. So you're good to go watching any type of uh, TV or movies. Good size storage up here, which in a camper this size, as we all know, storage really is everything. Now, if you don't have storage, you can't really take that long of a trip. This will have shades that'll drop down for you, but you get a good chance during the day to get some natural sunlight or, you know, a good scenic view, hopefully. Good storage underneath the bed. And inside this little box, this comes with the campers. That's going to be, um, you know, your quick connect and little garbage cans, stuff like that. So places for your hoses and all that when you hook up a grill. USB ports. Normal outlets. Let's give you a good view here of the rest of the camper. Here are all your controls. And I do like that the surveyor has the option for the solar charge controller. So that'll run you about, it's about a $700 option, uh, but it definitely adds life to, uh, your, to your battery. It helps trickle charge the battery. Or if you're doing some more offsite camping, you know, while it doesn't power up the whole camper, it'll definitely keep the lights on, uh, you know, when you need it most. Smaller sink, but enough just to get the job done. Clean any of your stuff that you need. A two burner grass gr glass, blah, blah, blah. two burner stove top grill. Little fan there too, so that way you can kick out anything. They really thought of campers there. Everyone needs some brewskis popped. Nice place for some good storage. And a microwave. You got your teddy bear bunk series right here. Real comfortable stuff, real soft. And a nice little ladder for the youngins. That way you don't have to worry about picking them up and throwing them up there. Two-way refrigerator, gas and electric, uh, and honestly, they don't get much bigger than this when you are gas and electric. So this is definitely a good feature here for you. Good place to control your heat. And also for the kids, so you don't have to hear them screaming about their iPads not being charged. You got some, I can't really get it. USB ports right there. Now the bathroom, this is very important in a camper this size. Uh, not a lot of them have, you know, room to really do anything. But this one, it's got a decent shower size on there. You know, I'm uh, six foot, 290 pounds, and I've got the head space that I need and I can still turn around and get the stench off. For anyone who wants to see me. So 
some good hanging storage in here and you got your ac right there and that thing will be more than enough this is 13,500 uh, btus of of good old pumping keeps you nice and keeps you nice and cool but again now i'm going to go check out the outside i thank you for tuning in if this is where you head out like so many of you do make sure to like and subscribe drop a comment if you want anything uh, any additional information or something i can do to, to make these videos better for you that's the goal show you campers and do it effectively Real good size awning. This thing is not out all the way. You got your LED lights. It's a nice glow, nothing obnoxious. Exterior speakers there. And those things will get bumping. And they're, uh, you know, they're weather treated too, so you don't have to worry about that. Good size pass-through storage. You got your manual jacks on this one, which, uh, you know, is something that I would always tell you to, uh, you know, to get. There's the manual stabilizing jacks are much stronger than your typical um, you know, electric leveling. They actually uh, do a better job. And I do like the fact that they have the Moorride steps on this. So, you know, anyone that's owned a camper before, they're not those flimsy, you know, step-down ones that you have to worry about, you know, cracking your ankle on. Spare tire, ladder to get up to the roof to do all your maintenance, check your seals, all that good stuff that's important for the lifetime of your camper. And up there, you're, you do have, it is backup camera prepped. You can put a Furion S-Vision is the one that I recommend, the one that I use and sell on a daily basis. It runs you $550. And you get a little four and a half inch screen that you can suction cup onto your windshield. And it Bluetooth's back there, so that way you can see, you know, what's going on behind you at all times. They snuck some more storage here underneath that bunk, which is definitely very important. Cable and satellite goes there. Your power cord, 25 feet, so you got plenty of extra space. And you're going to notice right here on the slide, let me give you a good view of this here. A lot of campers are starting to do where they prep it for slide toppers because they're getting so popular. And right up there, you can put it up. It's $700. Uh, it's definitely really important for the person that's wants some more carefree experience. Uh, you know, when a lot of people have problems with their slides leaking and stuff like that, it's typically a bonehead move where you're parked under a tree, a branch is there, you close it up and it crunches, you know, inside that slide causing, you know, obviously water to get in. Battery disconnect right up front, power tongue jacks, that way you can see what's going on, a little light there, so when you're backing up to this bad boy, you can see what's going on. And this customer got the Blue Ox weight distribution hitch, 550 pounds, that'll run you uh, 750 smackaroonies. But guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day. See you.